In recent days, with the rapid decline in battery costs and fast-paced technological advancements, electric vehicles are on the verge of reaching cost parity with internal combustion engine cars. According to U.S. government data, electric vehicle battery prices have plummeted by 90% from 2008 to 2023, with 2023 showing a significant drop compared to the previous year. It's not just battery prices. Other costs related to EVs are also falling, leading to expectations that by 2025, Tesla will unveil a new Model Y Juniper at an unprecedentedly low price while still offering superior features. What factors are driving down the overall cost of the Model Y 2025 Juniper? What will the final price be? How is production progressing? We'll dive into these questions in today's video. 1. How are plummeting battery costs making the Model Y 2025 more affordable? One of the primary barriers to widespread EV adoption has been the high upfront cost of purchasing an electric car. As of June 2023, the average transaction price for a new internal combustion engine vehicle in the US was $48,640, while the average suggested retail price for a new EV was $56,371, a nearly $8,000 difference, according to Kelly Blue Book. However, as Alan Taub, director of the Michigan Materials Research Institute at the University of Michigan points out, the battery industry has made significant strides in reducing these costs closing the gap between EVs and traditional gasoline vehicles. The significant drop in electric vehicle battery prices is set to play a crucial role in lowering the cost of the Model Y 2025. As we had mentioned, over the past 15 years, EV battery prices have seen a staggering 90% reduction, falling from 1,115 per kilowatt hour in 2008 to just $113 per kilowatt hour in 2023 according to U.S. Department of Energy data. This dramatic decrease is largely driven by the sharp decline in lithium carbonate prices, a key battery component, which plummeted from a high of 600,000 renminbi per tonne in 2022 to below 95,000 renminbi per tonne by 2024. The drop in battery costs is particularly striking in the case of lithium phosphate energy storage cells, which saw a 99.2% price reduction from June to July 2024 falling to just 3.8 cents per watt hour. Furthermore, according to Goldman Sachs, battery costs are projected to decrease by an additional 40% between 2023 and 2025, potentially making EVs more affordable than gasoline vehicles and increasing profitability for manufacturers. A previous study by the International Council on Clean Transportation predicted that EV prices would reach parity with ICE vehicles by 2029 thanks to the excess supply of lithium and other advancements in battery technology. The growing use of lithium-ion phosphate LFP batteries is also contributing to cost reductions. LFP batteries are around 35-40% to 40 cheaper than nickel, manganese and cobalt NMC batteries, and many automakers, including Tesla, are shifting to LFP batteries for their standard models due to their lower cost and longer lifespan. The Department of Energy's Office of Vehicle Technologies estimates that by 2023, the cost of installing a battery pack in a light-duty EV was 90% lower than in 2008, thanks to improvements in battery chemistry, technology, and production scale. The decline in battery materials costs is another critical factor driving down the price of the Model Y 2025. Key materials like cobalt, nickel, and copper have all seen substantial price drops with copper prices seeing a particularly sharp decline. For instance, lithium phosphate battery cells saw a 2.6% decrease in July 2024 compared to June, reaching 4 cents per watt hour. Additionally, the price of NMC, nickel, manganese, cobalt battery cells also decreased, dropping to 6.7 cents per watt hour, a 2.1% reduction from the previous month. Furthermore, the share of high-capacity LFP energy storage batteries, 280 AA and above, which have more cost advantages, continue to increase, driving the average price of LFP energy storage batteries down to about 0.38 renminbi per watt-hour in July, a 9% drop from June. Trendforce pointed out that the oversupply pressure on lithium carbonate in China remains strong, 
with prices dropping to around 80,000 renminbi per tonne by the end of July. This oversupply situation is expected to keep lithium carbonate prices low throughout Q3. Tesla CEO Elon Musk recently noted that the cost of lithium-ion cells used in EV batteries has decreased, a significant shift from the spike seen during the pandemic when automakers placed huge orders. During the company's shareholder meeting in June, Musk stated that battery cell suppliers have increased their supply and the orders from other car manufacturers have declined. This drop in demand has affected lithium prices, with the essential mineral used in EV battery production decreasing by more than 70% over the past year. As Kieran O'Regan, co-founder of the battery data and software company About Energy, told Yahoo Finance, raw material prices are a significant factor in the overall cost of EV batteries. As battery prices decrease due to technological advancements, the contribution of raw material costs becomes more significant. Goldman Sachs predicts that the global average cost for automakers to produce batteries will average around $115 per kilowatt hour in 2024, about 23% lower than last year, with prices expected to drop another 20% by 2025. This decrease in battery prices is closely tied to advances in battery technology, such as KTL's Shengsing batteries, which boast a 20% improvement in energy density compared to previous versions. This means manufacturers need fewer battery cells to achieve the same range, reducing costs and increasing energy efficiency for EVs. Battery costs account for about one-third to one-quarter of the total cost of a complete vehicle, making it a significant factor, but not the only one. However, China has already figured out how to make EVs cheaper than gasoline vehicles, and while this is partly due to significant state subsidies, the US is sure to catch up eventually delivering more affordable EVs to consumers. One effective strategy to further reduce costs is through large battery purchase agreements. For example, Tesla has signed substantial contracts with Chinese battery suppliers like CATL, securing up to 15.5 gigawatt hours of battery volume. These large-scale contracts allow Tesla and other manufacturers to secure lower battery prices, leading to reduced EV prices across the market. Goldman Sachs analysts estimate that the break-even point between EVs and ICE vehicles, excluding government subsidies, will be reached in the US between 2025 and 2026 as battery prices continue to fall next year. The cost of ownership includes not just the purchase price, but also fuel or charging, repairs and maintenance over the vehicle's lifetime. Goldman's timeline appears to align with comments made by Elon Musk in the company's latest earnings call, when he said, we are on track to deliver a more affordable model in the first half of next year. This significant cost reduction is expected to make EVs more price competitive with traditional gasoline-powered vehicles, bringing the promise of more affordable, high-tech EVs like the Model Y 2025 closer to reality. How do you feel about the impact of plummeting battery costs on the affordability of the 2025 Model Y? If you believe that these cost reductions will make the Model Y more accessible and competitive with traditional vehicles, vote 1. If you think these changes won't significantly affect the pricing or adoption of EVs, vote 2. If you have a different perspective or additional insights, comment below. 2. How does increased EV production drive down the cost of the Model Y 2025? The surge in electric vehicle production is playing a critical role in reducing the price of the Model Y 2025. Manufacturers, particularly in China, are ramping up production to achieve economies of scale. Experts in China indicate that if a factory produces 500,000 vehicles annually, it can begin to generate profits, which, in turn, lowers the cost of each vehicle. Tesla, for example, is reaping the benefits of bulk battery purchases, securing lower prices that contribute to the reduced cost of their vehicles. As other manufacturers scale up production, they too will enjoy the cost savings that come with increased output. The competition from China is further intensifying the pressure on prices. Chinese automakers are exporting EVs at lower prices to international markets such as Australia, Thailand, and regions without customs duties. Additionally, 
Chinese EV companies are establishing factories in Europe, Turkey and North Africa to circumvent trade barriers. This expansion is creating fierce competition, driving down EV prices globally. Moreover, some automakers are capitalizing on attractive financing and leasing contracts to entice future buyers. Low interest rates and affordable monthly payments, combined with federal tax credits that can be applied even to vehicles not assembled in North America when leased, sometimes make owning an EV cheaper than a gasoline alternative, even if its MSRP is higher. As these trends continue, consumers can expect to see even more affordable electric vehicles entering the market, with the Model Y 2025 poised to be one of the most competitively priced options available. 3. How is Tesla's Model Y 2025's pricing and production plan set to transform the EV market? Considering all mentioned factors, the price of electric vehicles is expected to continue dropping in the coming months, making EVs more accessible to consumers worldwide. This trend could lead to electric vehicles with extended ranges, such as those capable of 900 km, potentially being priced as low as $30,000 in China. For the 2025 Model Y Juniper, you can expect a price around $41,000 due to reduced inflation impacts and lower battery costs. Additionally, this model qualifies for federal tax credits and potential state incentives, which could further decrease the cost. However, it's important to consider that this estimate reflects only the base price, and additional expenses related to vehicle ownership will also apply. Tesla is ramping up its production plans for the Model Y 2025, following recent upgrades to the Model 3 that cut manufacturing costs. Insider reports suggest that the new Model Y could debut with next-generation platform features by late 2024, specifically the third quarter or early 2025. Production of the Model Y Juniper is likely to begin in China, possibly at the same facility that produces the revamped Model 3. With Giga Shanghai's impressive production capabilities, Tesla is well positioned to meet its goal of producing 3 million vehicles annually and make the Model Y Juniper a significant player in the market. That's the end of our topic today. What do you think about the expected pricing of this future EV? Will the Model Y 2025 be your next car? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel Adam Tech to stay updated on the latest in Tesla and EV technology.